Hello to all and welcome to your spiritual advice reading for October 28th where we have a full moon in Taurus and a lunar eclipse. So this is where we've all been guided to hopefully working towards safety, stability, peace, tranquility, balance in connection to others. For there is going to be an increased uh, desire for greater support and stability. So if you've been seeking change or thinking that you need a change, now is the time for evolution, right? I'm taking all that I've learned up to this point, And now at the end of 2023, I'm going to rise above into a path of peace, joy, and happiness that will last for the long term. All right, so I've been guided to the Enchanted Map deck by Colette Baron reed Compass, compass, compass. We've just started seeing this a lot. So this is a message from Spirit uh, that we are helping you to overcome certain obstacles and challenges by obtaining some form of wisdom and knowledge about what you want to create in this next chapter of your life. Spirit's going to be bringing a lot of signs and synchronicities about some ideas creatively, financially, you know, what are you working towards? What does this next chapter of your life look like? Because Spirit's trying to guide you over current obstacles and challenges and want to assist you with the manifestation of this next chapter. <clears throat> now, there are some who are already contemplating a new direction. Maybe you've already stepped into this new direction. Um, and with a dry desert energy in the thoughts position, uh, there are thoughts of... Wow, you know, I'm stepping into this new path and I'm recognizing that I am automatically uh, acclimating, pardon me, to this new direction. Therefore, I'm recognizing the signs because she's looking over at the compass of the past and why I was led to here. So something feels natural or that's what Spirit's saying. Think about a path that comes naturally to you. Ooh, now in the relationship sector of the circle spread, we have the commitment card. So Spirit is really guiding the collective forward into a foundation of success through commitments, partnerships, and contracts at this time. So I know there are many who have separated because certain chapters came to an end uh, professionally or personally, and now you're stepping into a new direction and spirit saying we will be sending additional messages of some form of commitment, partnership or contract that the reason this feels right is because it is. Okay, so in the creative aspects position, beautiful, the number 22. So waiting and contemplating a connection to another or others. It could even be that some at this time are stepping into a new path, both financially and when it comes to a personal situation. But in the creative aspects position, spirit saying, think about your intentions, right? This, the egg represents your intentions. The owl represents your knowledge and wisdom. So creatively, as you set intentions to step into a path or direction where there are commitments that support you, contracts with others that support you, you're going to recognize that uh, you're continuing to set additional intentions because this is the path or the direction you were meant to go. So this is almost like hindsight, like, okay, I closed the door on all that. It was a little painful, but oh my goodness, this feels right. This could be that someone is stepping into a new financial path or direction and it's in this new direction like we talked about over the last six months or so where the singles meet someone new. And so you followed your intentions. You continued to go into this new direction and now you're recognizing through commitments and contracts and your efforts that there is a new person here. All right, so in the actions position, it's all about details, 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 right? Getting through the stuff. If you're unpacking your house, there's still some stuff to unpack. If you're getting to a new office, there's still some things or eventually will be areas you want to kind of put things, right? There's organi organizing uh, in this new path, uh, waiting to eventually, with the magnifying glass here, receive the clarity of is this path really meant to be. For some people, it's like this is happening and it feels magical. 
Okay. And spirits are saying, take action to continue to uh, watch the details as they unfold regarding this direction. Because emotionally, we have the beautiful magic stream energy. So through wisdom and knowledge, there's this awareness that an old path ended and that now you can kind of go with the flow emotionally because you know that you know that this path was meant to be. So subconsciously, we have stuck in the mud, right? Oh my goodness, everything feels as though it has slowed down. And this is, when this card shows up, that means that spirit is purposely slowing things down so that you can enjoy this ebb and flow emotionally so that you can take action to slowly get through the details of what is unfolding and just kind of watch the beautiful signs as they take place so day to day we have oh my goodness flying higher and higher than ever before looking at this maze of your life below flying above and recognizing indeed that I love this stuck in the med mud energy. I love that things have slowed down so that I can sit in awe of this excitement as a result of my intentions. As I get through these details, I'm just ebbing with the flow. I'm like recognizing commitments are coming together, that there's a great balance like we talked about on the full moon with Taurus, uh, balance and connection with others. So in the inner strengths position, here's the hard part, right? There are still some who are trying to come apart from the path that was. Um, and, you know, spirits saying in the inner strengths position, we're going to help the collective to do that. We're going to help the collective with number 46 to recognize a foundation of success. That this new doorway that has opened is blessed. Because we got threes all over the place, Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, right? We got 31 in the thoughts position, 36 in the relationship sector, and uh, 43 in the actions position. I'm stepping into a new path. I'm coming into successful commitments, partnerships, contracts, and I'm going through the details as this doorway opens. As I step into a more beautiful path, seeing this path from beginning to end, as though it is very clear. I will find the strength to come apart from what was. All right, so we talked about solitude a little bit in the subconscious position for the October 26th and 27th video. Uh, this time of solitude, the reason things slowed down why we were meant to sit in solitude is to really reflect back on the storms of the past and how we have overcome a lot here we've been talking about with the death card and so on had to do or still has to do with this metamorphosis energy, this transformation. I have risen beyond these obstacles and challenges and now spirit is guiding me forward into greater commitments, partnerships and contracts. So I can build a foundation um, that I'm proud of. I'm moving forward, taking leadership over my life. I am the boss of this journey. So Spirit's saying, ride the wave, just like they're talking about with the magic stream energy as you go into the direction with the number 14 of a new path, a new foundation. Look at we got 33 here twice. So Spirit is saying, peaks of joy are coming. That's the clarity that it is and has been okay for you to come apart from what used to be. Right? That chapter is ending. And now it's time to kind of sit here excitedly with this number one, representing a new path with the bone collector energy. I am building and I am creating day to day and I love what I do and I'm feeling so fulfilled. I'm also recognizing the signs and synchronicities. I'm listening to songs, radios, things I hear on the TV, my phone, or just people walking by. I am trusting uh, in the prayers that I made in the past. Uh, that eventually it was going to be time to clean out what was, to get rid of what used to be, to literally clean house and move. And maybe that's the hard part. But Spirit's saying we are guiding you into the right direction. And with time, there will be clarity that you set these intentions. And now you're flying high because of a commitment partnership or contract. Yes, some are educating themselves regarding a new home, changes within the home. I think there's a lot of strength about the home. 
uh, maybe worries about paying the bills at home, but we've got the spiritual place. Spirit confirming this is the foundation by which you were meant to sit upon. And now with the Golden Palace energy representing a business or organization, it is time for this new path to begin. Encouragement, okay? So there will be continued encouragement through commitments, partnerships, or contracts. So if you become a little bit conflicted or worried, uh, Spirit saying take time with the sacred pool energy to be alone and reflect. You know, um, the past was difficult in certain aspects, but what did I learn from the most difficult paths? Yeah, because we've been talking about, especially on the 26th and 27th, about a new path, a new direction. See, something is coming to life. And some of you have made a choice. Others of you, you're about to. And Spirit's saying, we're giving you the strength to come apart from the old chapter and to follow our guidance into the direction of uh, this flying high emotionally balanced commitments, partnerships, contracts, okay? Details, details, details. Uh, you planted these seeds and these seeds are now coming to life. So it's not often these two cards are next to each other. We have the gentle gardener. I was tending to these seeds or these eggs representing one's plans, goals, and intentions. And Spirit's saying what you created was a result of your intentions coming together with another or others and recognizing that the field of dreams is, has now been born. So there's this kind of awareness around the, the uh, full moon, lunar eclipse, October 28th, uh, that there was a new path to be discovered. And I feel so new that I'm kind of protecting a part of myself. And Spirit's saying... Instead of protecting that beautiful self, share it with the world. Because goblins, here with the goblins card, are fears. We want you to go with the flow emotionally so that you can recognize that this was a commitment partnership contract that you were meant to go towards. The reason being is because you're automatically acclimating. It's new. So Spirit's kind of just doing the cheerleader thing and saying, we're going to guide you uh, through this path. Uh, it's almost like you're at kindergarten, right? This is just the very beginning of many grades. So enjoy the beginning for what it is. This would be a great time to journal how this new chapter has begun to unfold in your life. I normally bring in astrological signs or elements of who by which spirit may be referring to or about. Um, I kind of don't feel like I need to, but I guess I'll run through it real quick with the Sacred Circle Tarot uh, by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. Brand new path of peace, joy, and happiness. If you're looking for a new path in love, I think Spirit's saying that is what the direction we are guiding you to go. There's a path you will acclimate to automatically, a new path, a new direction of sorts. And it's in that direction where there will be a brand new love. See, wishes are coming true. This is indeed, oh my gosh, a path from the universe in the form of the Ace of Cups, a path of overflowing peace and joy and happiness. And I'm recognizing that wishes have come true and that I am stepping into this dry desert energy and I'm acclimating naturally because it was meant to be. So with the Queen of Wands energies, I'm illuminating these relationships to those around me. I'm very passionate about the connections I have made. These commitments, partnerships, contracts uh, are what I illuminated. I illuminated not only a wish come true for myself, but I'm now stepping into the direction of a path of overflowing peace, joy, and happiness. So we do have, I'm setting my intentions like the King of Swords, setting and meeting goals day to day in a very balanced and focused way. Focusing on my intentions as I connect with others. Excitedly. Now, I do feel like uh, there could be fiery type feminine energy looking over at this King of Swords energy. So this could be uh, Fire, Sag, Aries, or Leo looking towards Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. We have Aquarius energy of the star in the thoughts position and a hope for a new path in love. Um, but I'm feeling more so this is I am excited about the commitments I have made and I'm sitting in this in-between moment trying to get to the truth of is this the path that I, I am flying high above where it just feels blessed. In the actions position, we have the Seven of Cups. 
Okay, so this King of Swords has kind of been hanging around day to day. It was in the day-to-day -day aspects position in the last two, three days, something like that. Um, I think there's a little bit about if things aren't moving, <clears throat> it may be time to come apart from that connection and to focus instead on your personal intentions, creative and financial intentions. Because we do have some trying to find clarity where there's fantasy and illusion with the Seven of Cups. Is this a new path or should I come apart from this connection? So here comes that popular death card. It's been in the thoughts position. Should I bring a situation to an end? Well, Spirit saying if you just go with the flow and trust in your ability to acknowledge fantasy and illusion, to trust in the ability in the inner strengths position to come apart from uh, someone who's causing the stuck in the mud energy. For some, there's a message to sit in solitude so that you can recognize the storm field energy. Have you been in this stormy situation in the past? If there's a stormy situation, now it's time to acknowledge that, to go around that into a better direction for you have transformed. So there is like the death card. I'm cutting away from um, who or what doesn't serve me because of the lessons of the past. I'm not going to fall into fantasy and illusion. I'm going to look at the details and give something some time. And that could be why spirits slowing things down with the stuck in the mud energy. Yeah, so we have, wow, good news. Those who are using the Queen of Wands energies to connect with commitments, partnerships, contracts with others who are very passionate about the work that they do, uh, there is going to come after this slow-moving energy of the stuck in the mud. We have the page of discs. We have good news coming. And it's like this person is working hard or that's what Spirit's saying to do because eventually good news is going to come that's going to guide you into the direction of this overflowing peace, joy, and happiness. So with the Seven of Cups in the Actions position and the Details card, this is about using your uniqueness, um, your intuition, your creativity to make sure that uh, you know the commitments you want to make. I just feel like there's someone very tempting here, but if there's like fantasy and illusion and kind of flying high in this, I, I think it's important that you give something a little more time. Somebody really has some intentions to move forward with the masculine who may be closed off, but you've been here before. You, you are being guided to slow down and wait. Okay. Day to day, we have flying high because I now see the maze of my life below. I know who or what I want to manifest with, and I am going excitedly into the direction of the chariot. So we have success, traveling into the direction of success, finding the strength to come apart from one path because it's time with the Ace of Cups and the Compass to acknowledge the details and clarity of the next path. For I am automatically acclimating to a path that really was a wish come true. I have been working towards a commitment, partnership, contract, and so on. And I've been setting my intentions day to day. I've been going with the flow. And even though things are unfolding slowly, I know that I know that communication of success is going to come. So what's really kind of blocking this success personally is this... Focus on the past, right? Sometimes we have to let go. I mean, there's like regretful energy. There's crying over spilt milk. And that's why Spirit's saying we're giving you the strength to come apart from what was. Uh, to really apply your creativity. Uh, to give yourself time to acknowledge additional details. Because eventually there's going to be this awareness that, yes, indeed, this chapter that feels magical is a gift because uh, I sidestepped. Uh, the storms. I sidestepped uh, anyone who caused delusion or sadness. Wow. Three card summary. We got the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. So we have finding solace because of a different situation that has potential, right? I'm connecting with those who have potential via the World Wide Web, and I'm creating a foundation through my imagination and creativity that is bringing a bounty of abundance, 
to myself and those around me. Yes, there's going to be some shocking realization with the Three of Pentacles that eventually uh, someone's ship is coming in here. Someone's coming towards you excitedly and quickly, or there's aware an awareness uh, that you're overcoming uh, the waiting process and oh my gosh uh, you can let go now because there's something so much better before you so spirit's saying look at we got the eight and the seven uh you are not stuck or trapped if you are conflicted about uh communications with those around you uh continue to fly forward towards your own success right somebody may come in here and see that you're you're successful around the full moon and want to kind of touch base again let's see look at stability and success all right this is what many are going to recognize is oh my goodness um i am recognizing uh, a path of acknowledgement and success now this has been in the inner strengths position for a while the six of wands for many people and now there's that wish come true that spirit was trying to guide the collective towards it's time for an evolution Right. I respect myself now because of what I went through in the past. And now I'm seeking change so that I can create balance in my life in connection to others. So there are some who are moving into a successful financial creative direction. And boom, that is where a wish come true arrives. So I'm getting like passionate feminine energy. Um, you know, maybe water energy or for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it's time to let go of what was in the fantasy, in the junk, and trust that there's something much better coming in the form of money. I am feeling like Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the Death card representing Scorpio. So that's some for some of you, it's weight and trust that, you know, there needs to be an evolution to this whole process. Yes, you are not restricted. If someone else is feeling cold and closed off, they may be the magician energy. They may be a little bit uh, manipulative. Or this is you saying, I can, I can manifest with the druid energy, uh, but I'm fearing my own success. And that's what Spirit's saying we need to come away from because that's dark energy. That'll prevent what we're trying to manifest from showing up or will slow the process. So we have a great financial and emotional reward, 10 of cups, a happily ever after that's coming in quite unexpectedly. Again, we have someone here who may be thinking about air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini uh, with the intention in the creative aspects position in the king of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And then we have being guided into the direction of watery type energy for some Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got Cancer strong in the day-to-day -day aspects position, flying high, loving life, overcoming regrets, right? Why? Because the heartache and the pain needs to fall away is what Spirit's saying with the Three of Swords. And here comes a new path in the area of abundance and money. So it's like a new path of emotional fulfillment is going to grow and develop. Continue to remain passionate for you will travel forward into a more successful experience and um, transform. Keep on keeping on as you observe. Fear not the area of money. For there will be a path of victory. So maybe going back and forth regarding a financial offer or two. Spirit saying with the Lord and the King of Cups energy, you're going to start to recognize that the path before you is developing beautifully, like the insects and the animals are showing up. Life is starting to develop and there is someone very, very kind and loving who recognize, recognizes your efforts. For some, the cancer is going to show up and bring joy. No, or that's who you're thinking about. Adventure forward. There will be a path of abundance for many. A rebirth in the area of passion and excitement. Dedication. Oh my gosh. So it's almost like by the end of the full moon on the 28th, Going into October 29th, waning Gibeous moon in Taurus still. 
dreams need a practical plan it's time for exercise and yoga so this is still about setting and meeting goals uh, at the end of the full moon continuing throughout the rest of the year coming back to center and really recognizing the painful paths of the past right because the ace of swords uh, I'm sorry the ten of swords is a path that has ended and that's why you're being sent back to center to initiate this next chapter reflecting in a grounded way right waiting it's stuck in the mud for this good news communication positive communication in the area of money and success See, someone here may have felt defeated or conflicted when it came to communication with another again air energy libra aquarius gemini for some but it's time to step into the spotlight and to feel like a kid again yes yeah, someone's becoming stronger because they want change harmonious abundance financial gain and a peaceful resolution to the past all right so someone here may still be thinking about the past but with the metamorphosis card it's time to sit in solitude and recognize the storms of the past so you can close those chapters completely because others have found this beautiful new path that is a wish come true uh, if you haven't found this new path financially in the area of home location spirits trying to bring signs right now because they're saying that the path ahead um, involve is, is a blessed path of overflowing peace joy and happiness bringing peace to the regrets uh, and the delusions of the past Closing message, please, from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for the collective. During the full lunar moon of October 28th. So we have messages, messenger, pardon me, of emotions. So this is a beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something much deeper. Remember, spirit has been and is continuing right now to set uh, to bring signs and synchronicities regarding a new direction. Someone may be thinking about a new path, but many will receive a message expressing someone's feelings that maybe you didn't even know were developing. For others, there's a very social, uh, exciting invitation that could be taking place that could guide you as you focus on what you're passionate re about regarding money into the direction of a new and un unexpected love so if you're single again it could be through business meetings connections with others uh, where there's just going to be communication with someone and an unexpected awareness of oh my gosh this is the commitment that i've been waiting for so, but there's still this strong message about solitude, taking that time to review and contemplate. Financially, again, we have success as a result of one's intentions and an awareness maybe by the end of the night that you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of, right? You've been guided to this path of overflowing peace, joy, and happiness. And now is the time to decide what's next. I see the path below me from beginning to end and I'm overcoming previous obstacles and I'm now headed into the direction of what's next. As I contemplate the past versus what's happening now, I'm recognizing that this is my divine purpose. The advice from spirit is not to be distracted by conventional thinking, worries, thoughts, fears involving those around you. That's what this transformation is all about emotionally. It's time to go with the flow. Because we have this ace of abundance here. So we have a new path of love for some good news with the page of cups eventually, or pentacles showing up. This cherub brings wonderful news, exclamation mark. A windfall of resources is coming your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting whatever it is here that you want to get done. Beautiful. It's a good time to start a new venture. Um, I feel like when it comes to careers, either you know the career direction you want to go and you just need a little nudge from spirit, 
you're waiting for this page of pentacles to come or you have stepped into this new direction and it almost feels too good to be true. If you've been thinking about going into business for yourself, review and contemplate all that you've accomplished and know that now is the time to decide what's next. Spirit wants to guide you into the direction of a new path of peace, joy, and happiness. And they're going to be bringing signs as to what could bring you success, what comes naturally to you. Now, there may be, again, around the full moon, or through to the end of October here, where someone's efforts have illuminated, right, have manifested a commitment. Whether this is professional or personal, there will be important contracts to sign. Um, and I think that's why they keep bringing me back to the success of the chariot card traveling forward into the direction of a separation from a situation that needs more thought. Okay, there's a lot here about solace. Letting go because... This new chapter does not involve the storms of the past. I just keep hearing that over and over again. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey or maybe you just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am now offering the fall special which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much. Whoops, my dog is going underneath my camera for your likes, your shares and those subscribes but most importantly to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.